Did somebody say baby back ribs? Hmm? Hmm? I don't think Christian has time for that. I have time. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. I want baby back ribs. Geraldo. Warden. Your squad busted Melanie Hawkins. What? You're getting out. Come with me. OK. Wait. Can I do one thing first? I wanted to say goodbye. I can't believe you saved my life. I would not do it again. It really hurt. Yeah, but you did do it. And I regret it so much. Caleb, you're ruining this. Look, I just wanted to say thank you for everything. You got me through this. I'm going to miss you. Aw, put it there, pal. <laughs> God! 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 I thought we could start by going over the needs of the county. Right. Well, Lackawanna County has not been immune to the slow economic growth over the past five years. So for us, the name of the game is budget reduction. Awesome and Blossom. What? I think we should share an Awesome Blossom. What do you say? They are awesome. You want to, Christian? Awesome? Sure. OK, sure. it's done. Actually, Megan? May we have an awesome blossom, please? Extra awesome. Now it is done. So, hey, um, I heard if you have a, a very, very funny joke the other day. You want to hear it? Christian, you don't, you don't have to listen to this. We it's can... okay. I like jokes. Okay. Just the one. Joke. Just one joke? Okay. Well, if it's just going to be one, I will think of a different joke. Um. Don't let them see us. Land in. I gotta tell you, cop work is a lot like cannibal work. Really? Oh, yeah. The watching, the following, the waiting for soccer practice to end. Come on, man. I can't believe this. I'm gonna die in here, and then you're gonna eat my castrated body. I guess, but it'd be a pretty boring meal without dessert. Oh, my God. The first guy says, well, I'm an astronaut, so I drive a Saturn. And the second guy says, well, I am a pimp, so I drive a cheap escort. And the third guy says, I got you both beat. I'm a proctologist, so I drive a brown probe. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my God, that's funny. I almost had awesome blossom coming out of my nose. Can, can I have a vodka tonic, please? Jake, it's so good to see you. Come give me a hug. I'm not going to eat you. Also, don't hug me, because I will try to eat you. This is such a surprise. I haven't seen you since I transferred here. How's Amy? She's great. We're married, and she's a sergeant now. Wow. Yeah. How's everything here? You know, same old, same old. Guess who's here? Herman. Herman. Always playing Yahtzee. Knew everybody's name. Worship Satan. Did he? He never mentioned that. <laughs> You wouldn't shut up about it. It is exhausting. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm Charles. I'm Jake's best friend. Charles, he's serving three life sentences. No need to flex. So, Caleb, we're tracking a serial killer, and I was thinking you could help us get inside his head. Just because I ate humans doesn't mean that I'm inhuman, Jake. Caleb, come on, that's not what I meant. I'm just kidding. I'm probably friends with the guy online. <laughs> What's his deal? Well, he's been murdering young men and cutting out their hearts. Ooh. What? I would never eat a heart. I stick to the normal stuff, butts and thighs. One time I ate a foot, but it was nasty. Yeah, I can see that. You know what? There was some weird guy on the forum recently. The forum? Yeah, it's a chat room for people who like to talk about eating human beings, but definitely won't act on it. Wink. Yeah, it's hosted on Reddit. Reddit. Obviously. Anyways, he showed up from out of nowhere asking questions about cutting out hearts. Really? Do you know anything else about him? I'd never seen him on there before, but you could check the logs. I'll approve you. I'm an admin. Oh, oh you might want to switch to incognito mode. Otherwise, your targeted ads will be pretty cannibal specific. Ah, huh, good to know. Well, it was good to see you, Caleb. Send me that info. <laughs> and so after watching my mom go through so much pain, I decided to keep that promise that I made to her and take care of her. Whew. Well, this brings us to Jan. Truth or dare? Tell us about your divorce. Ooh. Oh, no, you. Michael, Michael, Michael. You, right? Michael, please. No. no. Oh, really? Hey, so it's... you're not going to play. She's not playing. It's not She's fair. not playing the game. We've been fighting fair. for a while. Check, he didn't want kids. I knew that going into it, but he also knew that I did. Mm -hmm. So I guess I thought that he would change his mind. He thought that I would change mine. You didn't. I was stupid. No, no, you were not stupid. Gould was stupid, right? That's right. 
You know, you were really brave. I mean, you you put your arms out there, you slit your wrist. It's true. You said, "World, this is my blood. It's red, just like yours. So love me." I'm sorry. Where is Liz Lemon? She's out of the office. Is there anything we can help you with? We've got about well, ten minutes before we've got to go watch shopping. Well, this does affect the two of you. I'm Martin Luther King from NBC's in-house counsel. A former TGS employee has filed a harassment lawsuit against this production and both of you individually. The complainant is seeking damages in the amount of $50 million. Hold my calls, Giant B. I assume you know this woman? What's, What's her, her name? name? OK, start from the beginning. Well, the plaintiff's deposition alleges that. No, further back. What kind of dinosaur was your grandfather? Um, the plaintiff alleges that there is a widespread culture of depravity here at TGS. Sexual harassment, intimidation, threats of violence. Her deposition is very gross. I'm going to use this doll to show you what Tracy and Jenna did to me. No, no, no. Yes. <clears throat> She's lying like a rug. Rug is an offensive term for Persians that I made up. We would never do that to a page. Maybe that tall Asian one. Oh, yeah, Miranda. Her hair is so thick and black. Please don't include me in this. Look, Legal views this as a frivolous lawsuit. Hazel Wassername, AKA Richard Drench, has a long history of suing former employers. So all we need is for everyone who works at TGS to sign this affidavit saying that they have never witnessed or been party to any inappropriate behavior. I once played a lawyer in a movie, so I know all about winning your son's love back thanks to a magic camera. Yes, movies are terrible. Well, don't worry. We'll get everyone to sign. We really don't want this to go to court for a number of reasons. You two could be personally liable for any damages. Hank Hooper hates any type of negative publicity like this. And I didn't super duper finish law school. So, right down the street, mm -hmm. Kenneth Road, born and raised. Spent my whole life right here in Lackawanna County, and I do not intend on moving. <laughs> I know this place. I know how many hospitals we have, I know how many schools we have. It's home, you know? I know the challenges this county's up against. Here's the thing about those discount suppliers. They don't care. They come in, they undercut everything, and they run us out of business. And then, once we're all gone, we jack up the prices. I know. It's, it's bad. It's terrible. It, it, you know what? It really is. Oh, true. I don't know. I guess I could give you guys our business, but you have to meet me halfway, okay? Because they're expecting me to make cuts. Well, corporate's gonna go ballistic, but uh, you think we could, Jan? Perhaps we should pay your cannibal friend another visit. I wouldn't say they're friends so much as ex cellmates. No, it's true, we're friends. He ate kids! Well, people are complicated. No, I'll tell you one thing, you are not looking for a cannibal. Why do you say that? With all that blood, no self-respecting cannibal would waste all that sauce. See, Charles, he's a foodie like you. Who are you? Can I see that picture again? Oh, man, those are some nice tools. I would love to spread some ribs using that sternum retractor, but they only sell those to hospitals. Wait a minute. What'd you just say? I said I'd love to get my little fingies and some chesties. No, 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 not the super gross part. Surgery-grade tools, precise incisions around the heart, and there was no ice at the motel. Because the perp was using it for the hearts. We're not looking for a serial killer. He stole the hearts for a transplant. Boom, we solved it. Boyo, give me a hug. Yeah. <laughs> for the record, I'm not a cannibal anymore. My new passion is needlepoint embroidery. Look at these. Two parrots in love. <laughs> A turtle with a monocle and a top hat. Wow, <laughs> it's so intricate. How do yeah. you... <laughs> okay, you got me. I was gonna eat you. That's still my thing. It's even affected my needle point. Look at this. Liver. A heart. Butt. An arm. Mm. 